Country music star Carrie Underwood has been happily married to former NHL player Mike Fisher for a while now. Even though they've been together over a decade, they seem to still be as in love as ever. Let's take a look inside their relationship. Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher met through a mutual friend, Underwood's bass player Mark Childers, who thought that the two would make a great match. In an interview for VH1's Behind the Music, Underwood laughingly explained that Childers wanted to set the pair up on a blind date, but she insisted that they meet at her concert. She explained, saying, I was like, we're sticking him in a meet and greet because if he's weird, I don't want to deal with him. Luckily, Fisher was not weird, and the two immediately hit it off. In Behind the Music, Underwood also shared that after the meet and greet, she texted Childers that she thought Fisher was, quote, hot, hot, hot. Equally as smitten, Fisher said in his Behind the Music interview that Underwood was more beautiful in person than on TV. The country singer went on to explain that the two went out for a drink, shared dessert, and exchanged numbers. And the rest, as they say, is history. Well, sort of. According to VH1's Behind the Music, due to Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher's hectic schedules on the road, the pair were not able to see each other for a long period of time following their first meeting at Underwood's concert. In the episode, Underwood shared, "...we started talking on the phone quite a bit for the next, like, three months. Although we can imagine the next few months must have been difficult, the two were able to establish a strong connection before taking their relationship to the next level." Underwood admitted in Behind the Music, when you have the spark with somebody and you have a connection, it's wonderful. But then when you agree on the core things in your life, your beliefs and your faith, that does connect you to somebody even deeper. As Bustle noted, Underwood and Fisher finally had their first official date on New Year's Eve in 2008 and even shared their first kiss when the ball dropped. We're having a hard time thinking of anything more romantic than that. According to VH1's Behind the Music, Mike Fisher actually came up with the idea for one of Carrie Underwood's most critically renowned songs, Temporary Home. Underwood said in the episode that she felt compelled to include a dedication to Fisher in the liner notes. She explained, "...he had become an important part of my life and inspired a lot of the songs that were on that album." With Fisher's help, Underwood was able to write an album that was personal with songs inspired by her real-life romance. Almost a year after Underwood and Fisher started dating, Fisher proposed to her on a romantic Sunday afternoon. Snow was falling and they were in the woods near his home in Ottawa, Canada. Underwood told VH1's Behind the Music that as she said yes, she tackled him in the snow in excitement. Fisher spoke about his engagement with the Toronto Sun the next day, where he shared, "...it's true, we're both obviously excited and very happy." Although an engagement after only a year of dating may seem like a quick turnaround, everyone could tell that the couple had an immediate spark, and things quickly turned serious. In an interview with The Boot, Luke Laird, one of the co-writers on Underwood's album Play On, shared that Mama's song was inspired by Underwood's moving on to a new stage of life with her new man. According to Laird, Carrie just came out with that first line, "'Mama, you taught me to do the right things.'" And this was before she was engaged, obviously, but she was in a relationship. We knew where this was coming from. Underwood and Fisher went on to get married in July 2010, in a lavish ceremony at the Ritz-Carlton's Lake Oconee, Georgia resort. If you've listened to any of Carrie Underwood's breakup songs, it's easy to assume that she's had her fair share of messy relationships. But according to the singer, her relationship with Mike Fisher is different. Underwood shared in an interview with Glamour that before meeting Fisher, she had always doubted her partners in previous relationships. She said, "...I don't have to worry about Mike. I don't think twice. He's going out? I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I don't bat an eye." In a feature that Underwood wrote for the Sydney Morning Herald, she explained that, before Fisher came along, she had plenty of experience with quote, two-timing men and love gone wrong, just like the men she sings about in songs like Before He Cheats and Cowboy Casanova. However, unlike those from her past, Fisher is a completely different kind of man. She shared, "...he is such a warm, caring person and has a wonderful faith in people that I sometimes lack. He's a gorgeous heart wrapped in a gorgeous man." Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher have two adorable boys named Isaiah and Jacob. Isaiah was born first in February 2015. In an interview with Redbook, Underwood gushed about how thrilled she was to become a mom. She said, "...I definitely feel like it's changed me as a person. I'm happier, I'm in a better mood a lot of the time, he'll be watching cartoons and I'll be watching him. I'm completely in love." Not far behind Isaiah, Jacob was born almost four years later in January 2019. In a tearfully sweet Instagram caption, the proud mom shared, Jacob Brian Fisher entered the world in the wee hours of the morning on Monday. His mom, dad, and big brother couldn't be happier. Our hearts are full, our eyes are tired, and our lives are forever changed. Life is good." No matter what obstacles Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher may encounter together, they always seem to find a way to overcome them through their shared faith. Fisher and Underwood both grew up having a formative relationship with God and have made their faith a priority in their marriage. In episode 4 of the couple's docuseries, Mike and Carrie, God and Country, Underwood shared, First and foremost is our faith. We know God brought us together and trust His judgment, and then just finding ways to compromise through it. 
Similar to their marriage, the pair also intertwine faith in their family, as they want their sons, Isaiah and Jacob, to grow up with the same values as they have. In an interview with CBN, Fisher explained that, although he wasn't always comfortable with his religion when he was growing up, he wants Isaiah and Jacob to be proud of their faith and not scared of it. That love of the Father is unconditional. And that's a pretty good feeling to, to know that how much he loves me. After Mike Fisher retired from professional ice hockey in 2018, he was allotted more time to spend with his family and to support his rock star wife. Carrie Underwood brought her family along with her on the Cry Pretty Tour 360 in 2019, allowing Fisher and her kids to see her in action. Although Jacob was three months old at the time and probably didn't know what exactly was going on. Although Underwood was thrilled to have her family on tour with her, she shared with Today that bringing a three-month-old with her on the road wasn't easy. She said, I'm tired, but I mean, how many people get to take their children to work with them? Fisher even shared how proud he was of his wife after her show in Birmingham, Alabama, in an Instagram caption that read, What a night! This is Izzy's first tour show that he'll remember. He had a blast! His mommy is a rock star on stage and off the stage. Touring with a three-month-old is brave, to say the least. But if anyone can do it, she sure can. In 2020, Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher released a four-episode docuseries, Mike and Carrie, God and Country, through the Christian nonprofit I Am Second, which creates films about individuals who have put Jesus first in their lives. The docuseries details the ups and downs of Underwood and Fisher's marriage, their individual and communal relationships with God, and their journey to become parents. One of the show's producers, John Humphrey, spoke to Entertainment Tonight about the docuseries. He explained that they wanted to shed some light on who Fisher and Underwood really are, Underwood being more than just a superstar and Fisher being more than just a former hockey player. In an interview with the Toronto Sun, Carrie Underwood shared that the pandemic brought some unexpected benefits. Mainly, it allowed her and Mike Fisher to spend more quality time with each other and with their kids. She said, This year, my silver lining was just getting to be home and be in one place, so I could watch them grow and just spend time with them. In an interview with CBS Sunday Morning, Underwood recalled a memory of a sweet comment that Fisher had made to her. Reflecting on it, she explained how they grew as a couple during the pandemic, as they spent extra time together. She said, some couples kind of get stronger and you see some go the other way and feel like we were, we were really good at being together all day, every day. All couples have their differences, and Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher are no exception. In episode one of their docuseries, Mike and Carrie, God and Country, Underwood explained, We learn from each other, and we have spirited discussions about things that we disagree on. But at the end of the day, we love each other very much. In Underwood's book, Find Your Path, Honor Your Body, Fuel Your Soul, and Get Strong with the Fit 52 Life, she writes about what led her to become a vegetarian. She explains that she grew up on a farm and became very attached to the animals. As a result, she didn't feel right eating meat. Underwood explained in her book that since her childhood, I've never gone back to eating beef, and I never will. With her history as a vegetarian and an animal lover, Underwood shared in episode 4 of the docuseries that she had a hard time accepting Fisher's love of hunting. However, she said they learned to compromise and accept their differing opinions and hobbies. Although it may seem like Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher have a perfect life, they have experienced hardships throughout their marriage. Underwood had three miscarriages in less than two years while trying to conceive their second child. She shared in a vulnerable interview with People that she had many difficult, emotional discussions with her husband and with God. She shared, of course you wonder if it's you, what am I doing wrong, or what have I done wrong? I remember having conversations with Mike, trying to make sense of it all." Underwood elaborated on this challenging time in episode 2 of her docuseries, Mike and Carrie God and Country. She explained that although the experience was incredibly difficult, she and her husband, in the end, became stronger as a couple. She explained, "...we were able to kind of work through our fate together like we'd never done before." Mike Fisher and Carrie Underwood have never claimed to have a perfect marriage or to be perfect parents. Like many of us, they're actually still trying to figure out how to organize different aspects of their lives. Underwood revealed in an interview with parents, "...my work life is pretty busy and can be unpredictable. Sometimes things are so hectic. I feel as if I'm not as present as I would like to be for them. I tell myself that there are ebbs and flows." In fact, something that initially attracted Underwood to Fisher was that, as a former professional hockey player, he understood her hectic schedule. In her feature for the Sydney Morning Herald, Underwood explained that, before she met her husband, it was hard to find people to date after winning American Idol. Most guys didn't understand her lifestyle. But fortunately, Fisher does. And we love to see it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.